Graphic design for web and print media, designing for the wellness community. Visit ryankelson.com. Hello, fabulous Sagittarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2012. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. When I was looking at the sky for you this month, I was reminded of a really amazing experience that I had recently. Now, every time I interact with friends and fans, just like yourself, it is very important to me. It's meaningful to me. It means so much to me. And certainly, especially since the expansion of my YouTube channel, it has uh, proven to be a great facilitator of my personal growth. And I, in turn, uh, treat that with reverence and hope to pass along that vibe and, and keep a circle of energy going. So I recently had an interaction with a friend and fan that just really stood out to me and they all do in their own way. But So I was uh, walking around as I often do, getting ready, thinking that I was going to be doing these November videos soon and thinking about the different signs you know, and thinking about, you know, what is it that that sign needs to hear? How is the sky relating to this sign? So it's sort of a walking meditation that is part of my process of putting these videos together for you guys every month. And while I was doing this walking meditation, I had the insight. Um, all of a sudden, the words just came into my head. It said, you never know who is sending you well wishes. You just never know what kindness people are looking at you with or are thinking of you with, sometimes strangers, sometimes people you know or people who just know you. But you just can't always be conscious of it because it is a matter of energy and energy is ultimately a matter of the esoteric arts, right? It's, it's part of hidden knowledge that we work to uncover and a lot of the work tends to involve ourselves on our own heart and our, on our own consciousness. A couple of days after my walking meditation, I was finally able to go through some of the emails that you guys sent me through the contact form on my site. And one of them was dated a couple of days earlier. And it said that basically this fabulous friend and fan of my work was sending me really positive energy because of all the changes that I've been going through right now with my work. And that email was sent at the exact time that I had that thought when I was doing my walking meditation. And I thought that it was just such a beautiful example of magic. And really that magic, that energy of the mystery that really is so enchanting is always there. It is always available to us and it is always in operation whether or not we are aware of it and whether or not we choose to access it. Now, I share this with you because I do think that, especially as you start this month, and I look at the fact that last month Mars entered your sign, Mars entering a sign in general and your sign specifically would indicate a time of just feeling like things have got to move. You've got to make progress and that the weight of your future is on your shoulders and that it is only you who can do the work to move your life forward. But if you adjust that lens a little bit, which I think that you are going to as you progress through this month, as you progress this month, you are going to find with the head adjustment of that lens is that the entire weight of the world is not on your shoulders. And it's wonderful to take responsibility for your own energy and take responsibility for the changes that you can create in your own life, the force that you can be to move your life positively forward. But there is a point of surrender. There is a point when you have to trust that you've done what it is that you can or what it is that you're willing. And sometimes that willingness comes down to what it is that you are able to do in that moment. And now the rest is not in your control. The rest just has to be turned over to whatever it is, whatever you call it, the universe, energy, to providence, however you want to understand it. There does come a point of surrender and of faith that your actions are going to matter in the big picture of your life. And that's what I think you're gonna to start to become more aware of. And if we look at it esoterically and energetically, what I'm seeing is that you become aware of this need for surrender and how valuable that surrender ends up being and how that surrender actually helps you to move towards your goals and move towards the things that matter to you. 
the way that you actually are able to access this energy isn't really anything that you are doing yourself. And I know that that can be a little bit scary because it means that you don't have control over that. But what I am seeing is that a lot of people are wishing you very, very well. And there are people who are even speaking of you very well without you being aware of it. And it is the buildup of energy, the buildup of good vibes that will find you and help you to adjust your energy. Now, the way that you can help this, this cycle to continue, right, the way that you can help yourself most is to consciously decide that you are going to take note of moments that feel special, moments that feel synchronistic, and if you like, you could even consider it moments of enchantment or moments that are magical. However you understand that energy, that there is an energy that connects you to everyone and everything, and whatever you do has an effect, a benefit to all of us here, to the entirety of life, to all of energy, and you in turn benefit from what other people put out as well, then you will make yourself very deeply, unconsciously available to this energy. You are going to notice a shift, and the shift happens quite dramatically. And it is this moment in the middle of the month where, on the one hand, in one moment, you feel just, just driven and feel um, very overpowered. Uh, feel frustrated even that your life is not exactly going to the timetable and to the direction that you want it to be. And all of a sudden, have an awareness that there's actually something really beautiful playing out here. And letting that energy of all those well-wishers, past, present, and future, whether you want to understand it as your past lives, whether you want to understand it as your ancestors and your descendants, or whether you just want to understand it as people who you have known at some point, However you conceive of it, all that energy hits you all at once and it hits you in a powerful moment and it could have you really emotional. And it is a moment of catharsis. It's a moment of deep understanding that lets you know that you're not alone in all of this. You're not isolated and alienated just walking around in this meaningless void that we call life but that you're actually a part of something much bigger and that you actually loved and cared for more than you appreciate or are really understanding and integrating into your life. With that connection to love, with that connection to acceptance, you will find yourself become much more effective towards attaining those goals. And by the end of the month, you are gonna have people come forward, key people, come forward in support so that that love that you feel in the middle of the month, that love that overpowers you, that knowing that you can't experience actually in the real world, but you feel because you're connected to it, that love makes itself clear in practical reality with the presentation of people who are there to help you to achieve your maximum potential and to achieve all those things that you've been working so hard to gain. Thank you for watching. It'll be a great month. Be fabulous and enjoy.